Okay, this one was about uh, multiple pumps running in parallel. And the question wasn't so much about finding the power, it's more of a general question about the redundancy and kind of how that's stated in the problem. So we have parallel redundant n plus one. Uh, I thought n plus one meant that two pumps would be operating and the plus one would be a standby pump. That's uh, not what was intended here. What was intended here was all pumps running in normal operation. So they're running at partial speed. They're running at two thirds speed. Uh, when I solved, I assumed that the failed pump would be the same as a standby pump. Yeah, that's a, if, if the assumption here was true, then that would follow. I would agree. Um, but I think it's, it's not standby. It was all pumps running. So then the, then the question becomes, well, what does N plus one really mean, right? What does that stand for? I would say, strictly speaking, N plus one describes the design intent. N plus one says you need two pumps required. We're going to provide three. That's from a design perspective, but that's kind of where it ends. Now, when we look at it from an operational perspective, what are you actually going to do with those three pumps that you now have? Well, you have a decision to make. And now we're going to get into philosophy because different, um, different operations will have a different preference as to how they want to do this and why. Um, some, some operations may say exactly what, how you interpreted this, right? Which was to say two running and one standby. And that's totally viable. Um, nothing wrong with that. Uh, the one of the concerns that comes up is maybe when one of them fails, the third one won't start up for whatever reason. So now you've got like a controls dependency. There's also a bit of a gap in, in the, um, in the delivery. So the water is going to briefly stagnate in the system and then get going again when the standby pump starts up. Maybe that's not a big deal. Maybe it is kind of depends on what you're dealing with. Some operations like to have spinning reserve. So they'll say, hey, run all three and then, um, but just run them at two thirds speed. Can't write there. Three at two thirds speed. So you're achieving the same volume. Um, and then if one of them fails, any one of them fails, you don't even care which one, then um, if they have variable speed controls and you can sense that one has went down, then the two that remain running will just ramp up to 100%. And um, both, both are done, both are not unusual, right? You'll see duty standby and you'll see variable speed. They're both common. So um, nothing right or wrong about doing it one way or the other, it's just kind of interpreting how they're, how they're running the operation. So just, uh, just reading, kind of reading the question and making sense of the way it's phrased. Good question.